Welcome guys, this is Ola from Stop Me Your Channel and I'm back with another Life is Strange Before the Storm video. So I thought I'd discuss with you something that's been on my mind lately. Like I've been trying to figure out what happens next in episode 3 of uh, Life is Strange Before the Storm. Now, the obvious prediction is that something will happen with uh, Rachel and Chloe. Like I made a video about, uh, about them because I really want them to like... Again, I don't want to to sound a bit like I'm a pervert, but it's just that I want their relationship to develop very nicely and I hope that in episode 3 they will sleep together. made a video about it so you can, you can check it out, but the thing is, I think it will happen, so that's my first prediction about episode 3. Basically what happened in episode 2, we were left with uh, Rachel's parents, so the DA and his wife, uh, Rachel and Chloe at Rachel's parents' house. So they had this big fight and it was a bit awkward, you know, with the whole Sarah is your mother thing. So I think what's going to happen is that from this moment, we will start off from this moment in episode 3, Rachel and Chloe will sort of take off. I think they will try to leave, like that's the plan anyway, but it's just I think because of the whole fight, it will be rushed in a way. So they will leave uh, Rachel's parents' house. <clears throat> Sorry, I, at first I thought that they would sleep there, but then I thought it's a bit weird to do it. So I think they will just rush off. And, right, so where would they go? I think they will go to the junkyard. I think they will go to the junkyard because that's where they have a place, sort of, you know, the, the small hut. And Chloe's, uh, Rachel's clothes are already there, you know, with the bag. So I think that's the, that's what what we're going to see. Uh, to to prove this, I noticed that you know the episode three screen that you already have in the game. You can see Chloe and Rachel on the junkyard, and Chloe is wearing Rachel's clothes, which is also a proof that I think that they will sleep together. If, at least if you if you have chosen the path to romance Rachel, and if you didn't just replay it and do it because it's amazing it's mind-blowing like i love their relationship anytime i start a video about before the storm i end up talking about rachel in a way because she's done like they they made a they did amazing job with her like she's amazing she she's beautiful and smart and sexy in a way and i understand that chloe fell for her and it's like it's really it's like relieving your teenage relationships like when it was so intense and new Okay, I gotta stop because I'm gonna talk about Rachel now and I will, yeah, episode 3 predictions. So I think they will go to the junkyard and I think they will they will spend the night there. Possibly together, I hope so, fingers crossed that this happens. I, I, I like their relationship a lot because it reminds me of like very subtle relationships like before the... Uh, before the Sunrise Trilogy movie, have you watched it? Like, if you haven't, just do it, because it's amazing. Uh, Jesse and... Damn, I can't remember the name, but Julie Dupli. Uh, Dupli. Anyway. Uh, it's subtle. Like, some people have been complaining that Before the Storm lacks a storyline, but to me, the storyline is the emotional journey that Chloe and Rachel are going through. I think they will go and sleep at the junkyard, and then the following day, I think... Parents will start looking for them, obviously the DA and stuff like this. We might see something about Sarah. My prediction about Sarah is that, well, Chloe will, Rachel will, will, will want to meet her because she found out that it's her biological mother. So I think that, I think, yeah, I agree that Chloe and Rachel might want to take off and they will try to leave. They will try to, possibly Chloe will fix uh, the car. Because why would they show the car if it wasn't meant to be fixed? And we know, based on Life is Strange, that she will fix the car. So they might try to leave, but I think they will stay eventually. Uh, I don't think I don't think they leave. Um, well, we know that they don't leave because their life is strange. Like you see, Chloe is still there, and they never they never manage to leave. I don't know what's the problem. Like if it's money, but personally, I think that Rachel will want to stay and meet her mother. I'm thinking possibly Chloe will help her out with this because Chloe saw Sarah leaving Frank's uh, RV. Chloe will tell Rachel that she saw Sarah leaving Frank's RV and then Frank possibly knows her so that's the way uh, they could meet. I think they will go and uh, see Frank about this and possibly this is the moment when Rachel will meet Frank. 
I mean, at some point I had this crazy theory that if Sarah is uh, Rachel's mother, then possibly Frank is Rachel's father. But that's a bit messed up, because based on Life is Strange, we know that they possibly uh, dated or... I don't know how to how to call this, but that something happened between them. Possibly, possibly, we don't really know. Well, I had this idea that Frank might be her father, but I don't think so, because... If Frank was Chloe's father, then... And, and, and some sort of weird adoption happened there. I don't know, like surrogates or something. Uh, uh, sorry, I don't know. Um, Chloe would know this, and in Life is Strange, she wouldn't think that Rachel slept with Frank, because that would be weird and awkward and just, just, just plain weird, awkward and not cool. <laughs> so yeah, I don't think, unless Chloe didn't know, maybe she didn't know. Yeah, but I don't think they, 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 they have time to explore this thing, it would be too big. I think Rachel and Chloe will try to leave, and I think they will try to, they will come back because of possibly Joyce. Possibly Rachel's parents looking for Rachel and but most of all I think because of Sarah We will explore Sarah in episode 3 for sure. I Noticed something I noticed that in Life is Strange episode 2 you can see yellow butterfly flying around and then you see yellow butterfly on uh, Sarah's arm. It's a tattoo. I Don't know what butterfly stands for unless you know changing time changing events like butterfly effect but yellow definitely stands for jealousy so perhaps sarah is jealous of rachel's uh, mom but the wife w what i'm interested in if chloe will get back to school i'm thinking possibly chloe will try to help or rachel or will try to save her or i don't know she does something good for her Rachel's parents, uh, father, DA, will know, and then he'll just pull some strings to get Chloe back into school. I, I, I'm not certain. I don't think... I don't think... I don't think we'll see a lot on Frank and Rachel. Like, I, at first I thought that we would find out what actually happened between, between Frank and Rachel based on episode, uh, episode 3, but I think it's too early. I think we have still two or three years until Rachel disappears so I'm I'm not certain they will explore this it would be weird I'm in my opinion episode 3 will end in a bittersweet way I mean there are multiple endings but I, I don't think they will be that different from one another I think it's either the question of if you romanced Rachel or if you didn't so based on what I played like based on my playthrough I think I will have a get I will get a nice ending like Chloe and Rachel coming back to Arcadia Bay uh, either from junkyard or if they actually leave from where, wherever they they went to and they will sort of stay together we will see them together but it will be a bittersweet ending we cannot get a good ending here like there is no way like we know that Rachel dies she will die so that's a bittersweet ending if we see Rachel and Chloe happy together, which I really want to see because I ship them so hard. Like, I ship them much harder than I did with Max and Chloe, even though I still kind of prefer Max and Chloe together. It was more mature in a way, did a video about it too. But Rachel is just providing more emotions. You know, like first love kind of emotions. It's intense. And whenever I start talking about Rachel and Chloe, I cannot stop. I cannot help myself. It, it's just, it's amazing. I love it, the way they did it, so subtle, it's a, like a base for entire game. I don't think we'll see, uh, right, there's a problem of Frank and this, this whole guy, uh, Damon Merrick, Demon, Damon Merrick, the drag guy. So I think this will try, this will be resolved as well, uh, possibly Chloe will have to run away from him. I, I don't really know, like, it's a, it's a secondary problem to me. It seems like Life is Strange had more issues, like main story, secondary story issues, uh, that we were more invested in. In Life is Strange, before the storm, the story is Chloe and Rachel. So, you know, the whole Sarah thing, the whole drugs thing, I think it's just something to fill in the gaps between what we really want to see, which is Rachel and Chloe together. 
So really, I, I don't see another way to end this episode uh, other than Rachel and Chloe back in Arcadia Bay. Possibly together. Oh, there's also the Elliot? Elliot guy. Some people have been claiming that he's a bit creepy and that he might do something. I've been replaying episode 1 and 2. I don't think he's that dangerous. Like, I mean, he does have this sort of psychopath kind of face. But he does remind me of Warren, but Warren was less creepy. Elliot is a bit creepy. But that's because of his face. Like, I've been, I've been talking to him in my game just to see if he does something weird. Like, he does seem jealous of Rachel. I just hope he doesn't do anything. But we know that Rachel has another story to go through in the future. So yeah, that's, that's what I'm thinking. They will be back in Arcadia Bay. Uh, possibly DA will accept Chloe because Chloe will be helping out Rachel and supporting Rachel in this crisis that she's going through. Rachel and Chloe will be happy at, for now. We might see Frank and Rachel meeting to eat each other, uh, seeing each other for the first time, sort of talking, um, which will be a base for Life is Strange pre-events. But that's it. I don't think we'll get to see them getting together. It's way too early for this. The ending will be bittersweet. I think we'll get a, I think we'll get a nice scene on junkyard between Chloe and Rachel. Uh, Chloe is ra wearing la Rachel's clothes, so. Yeah, to me that's a proof that something will happen. We will get to see Rachel meeting Sarah and we probably will find out what happened. Why, why Sarah is sort of a creepy woman, you know, wandering in the woods and looking at fire while smoking cigarettes. But that's it. We know that Rachel dies. So there is no happy ending. I cannot really count on a happy ending in this game. Which is a shame because I don't know, I guess if they left Arcadia Bay, Rachel wouldn't die. But then Chloe wouldn't see Max again as well. So neither is really good. This game is really depressing. <laughs> Thank you for watching. This was Ola from Stop Me O Channel. I'm making so many Life is Strange theory videos these days. So if you enjoy them, leave a thumbs up and subscribe. Take care of yourselves, guys.